Hello, welcome to TFLP Microcasters. I'm Lucas, and I'm joined tonight by Anna and Christian. What up? Hey. Hey, Dean. We're back. Yeah, we're back, baby. There you go. After missing last week since uh, Anna and I were driving to Baltimore. I was already there. Yeah, you're a little bit closer. We were almost there by the time the show would have happened. Yeah, you were close. We could have done it from the car uh, in the dark. We, uh, I think, what we we didn't get into what like midnight. It was earlier than that. Eleven. It was, 11. It was a little before it midnight. Yeah. So so maybe an hour later. So. Anyway. And we were up so late. Yeah. There was a convention last weekend. If you don't know. Yeah, we did a recap we last night, there. so if you want to check that out on um, TFLP. Um, so, yeah. Cross promotion, what? Yeah, there you go. Um, so tonight we're answering Randall's question, which is, is this the best SharkyCon ever? So, And that is quite the question, Randall. I will try not to answer that question until three hours into the broadcast. Right. So Anna, do you have a third party shark to con there or no, is it these just are all... Hasbro? No, we've got the we got the old like small scale one. Mm-hmm. Basic class, whatever you call that these days. We've got the little tiny turbo changer one. And then we've got the new guy on the back. I just think it's funny because the way that you put oh, the meow, new meow. guy, he doesn't look like he's any bigger than the old one. But I it's know. Like totally perspective. So, I, have tricks. I yes. used to have the eye gear Sharkticons once upon a time. Me too. So that Let's was a long it. time ago. They were all right. They were. I mean, at the time, I was very excited for them because you know we didn't have any other Sharkticons. But uh, yeah. Are they fighting or making out, Anna? Okay. What do you think? It's you. It's making out. Uh huh. You're welcome. Fine, I'll do it too. Here. Oh, so cute. Yours are the same size. Mine are different sizes. They are the same size because I have multiple different of these. Catherine, she says that she still uses the Iger Sharkticon. So they're, they're they fine. were really good figures. They're fine. Um, they're yeah. totally fine. I don't know. I think like, they're did... fine. I think the MFT ones are fine too. Yeah. Um, Who's the thing? Are those a thing? Yeah, I can't remember what they were originally. They're a knockoff of some Sharkticon, made a little bit bigger. All right. They sell them in three packs. No recollection of that at all. They're pretty similar to this one. They were actually available for sale at TFCon. Okay, cool. Well, whatever. Yeah. Was well, anyway, not available at issue. TFCon? Huh? Uh, I didn't n- see any. Yeah. I hadn't seen all at anybody's table. Paul may have had some. I don't know. Paul might have had it. I wasn't really he, paying attention. Did I did well, there you go. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for knowing. We appreciate it. Someone so I just want to like derail us for just a second to yeah, say, you so. know, we've had several official Sharkticons at this point. And I think they've all been fine. Yeah. I really can't say any of them bad. Like, I, I honestly think the little tiny turbo ones, whoops, that one got out of my hand there, is actually pretty cute. And it does the job just fine. If for some reason you want a tiny shark to con, it does the job and it's kind of amusing and cute. And, well, honestly, the robot mode looks about as good as this one does. So if it does the job, just fine. And then this one we've gotten a couple of releases of, most recently in the Pit of Judgment. And this one really is very similar to the new one in a lot of ways. Totally fine. It's a fine little shark dude. <laughs> a little simpler, you know, simplified. The tail is simpler, the arms are simpler, the back's simpler. But it really does a lot of the same job. It's just a different size. 
And now we have this one, yeah, which I think is an appropriate right? size for what I'm after. Yeah. But it's not any better. I don't think it's... Well, I think it's a little better. I don't think it's... it's I don't better. think it makes the Titans Return one worse, though. You see? I think it's, it's size proportionately better. better. I like its little face better. The teeth are better. Like, yeah. I don't like that it has the robot head in the mouth. That's not ideal. And they all do to a degree, right? All do like, to a degree. The tiny turbo is just barely covering the face. If you yeah. look in there, you can see the little head poking out. The older figure, if you really, if you really look past this jaw here, you know there's a there's a head right in there. Just hanging out to yeah. look at you. It's just honestly most noticeable in the new one, except it's the back of the head, so you could claim that it's hidden. Mm. Yeah, it's kind of like a tongue. There's a paint operation in there to make it like, oh yeah, it's part of the mouth. Is it? No. Honestly, it looks more like a ton from the blur effect on your Skype right now that I'm seeing there than it go. does in hand when I look Perfect. at my own toy. Well, like my own does... toy, it's like, it's a head. <laughs> it does have articulated little handies. <laughs> it does have a point of articulation in the arms that the others do not have. Well, especially the tiny turbo doesn't even have the arms. It does have a full gun with it, which the older one didn't have. And I think, you know, ultimately has more um, articulation in the legs, too, of course. I think there's a lot more paint on the new one, too. I think that that's Lots really the of paint. main... I think that's the thing that really impresses me about this figure in general and, like, really sets it apart. Other than the fact that it's, like, bigger, too. But, like, the amount of paint on the figure like really sets it apart i think the other thing too is is like this one is a lot closer to g1 and to the um uh the movie than uh the uh, titans return yes. one. it is the closest we've gotten and i got rid of all of my titans return lg ones to get these before i'd even opened these so that was a bit of a gamble i'm glad it paid off did you keep your pit of so, judgment one i did keep the pit of judgment one okay um, Here's I, what he is in Robo Mode. I'm yeah. really curious Ooh. if uh, Rick is going to troop build uh, the new one because it's a little bit more expensive. <laughs> like the old one was what, like ten bucks, and this is twenty two dollars. So it's like he troop build, built the Headmaster Scourge, right? That was the big one. He did the opening fifty right, of. But that one was like again, it was cheaper at the time. I think it was like. I don't know. I think he was able to get them at Walmarts and stuff pretty cheap. Mm, from the clearance. Okay. So yeah, shark mode, We I think we all agree. It looks really nice. It has a lot of paint on the shark face, a lot of details, good articulation. Legs are articulated enough. Who knows what you really want to do with the legs? Um, the underbody. You know, for once, when you turn it around, the underbody actually looks like a proper underbody. It's not like he's hiding a robot under there. The only place yeah, he's really hiding a robot is in the mouth. I think that's one of the biggest improvements over the Titans Return one is that it is complete at all angles. Yeah, it's nice and solid. More solid than a lot of dogs are these days. You know, this one, not as much. It does. I, I will say it does feel a little bit long. So I don't know, like, how you want your Sharktacons. Like, if you feel like they should be longer figures, like in the um, alt mode then, you know, it's it's definitely one for you, but... I totally see what you're saying there. Yeah. It does feel a little bit longer. It looks proportional to me. But... Well, we're not really I... sure it's a bad thing that it looks longer. It right, right. I'm just saying compared to the Titans Return one is what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. The Titans, yeah. Returns, Titans Return one is kind of... I thought it was, thought it was kind of stumpy in... Shark mode and then robot just mode. a little I'm bit, kind of, right? right. Kind of stumpy. This one, it's like short and squat, but it doesn't feel stumpy. It just feels like a, a, a small dwarvish guy, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> well, I think the Titans Return one too. It's like you just have the shark mode hanging off the legs, so yeah. You know. And this doesn't. This has real legs. Right. Look, there's nothing on them. Shark mode on the back, but it's a pretty compact backpack. 
don't know. Looks nice to me. I really dig it. The tail's removable. It has one point of articulation. You can swing it around and smack people with it, or I'll give it a cup and he can swing it around and smack people with it. Uh, I like it a lot. Smack. Yeah, it's pretty solid. The pastel pink and the pastel blue are really great in this mode. Love it. The colors are Looking great. Good. The paint is great. It's definitely a squatty little guy. Like, aesthetically, you know, aesthetically, it looks right. You know, what Lucas would say is, well, it's accurate. I would say, eh, it's not the most appealing looking thing I've ever held in my hand for me. But it is accurate to what it's supposed to be. Yeah. I think mine will almost always be a shark. I think so, too. As most people's will probably be, because it's the much more fun mode of the two. But it does look like I remember these things looking. I didn't go and take comparison shots, because I don't care that much for Sharticons. I mean, I will, I will say that the hands look pretty, like, pretty good, and they fold into the, you know, in the other mode and whatnot. Um, no it wrist swivel. Look, it doesn't look Ugh. too bad. Yeah, no, I, I, I assume that's a deal breaker for you, but. No, not really. Um, and the, yeah. the wrist hole isn't too bad. Yeah. That... Again, like I've said many times, the pink color really dominates how. Or the plastic color really dominates how much I hate the hole. Mm-hmm. Are you going to say you hate it in this one, Christian? No. I didn't oh, even okay. notice it. I will say that I really dig the transformation on this. It mm-hmm. does this thing where... Okay, so I'm going to do it real quick. The backpack folds up. And then... Oh, no. Christian, you left. I'm back. All right, someone called me. And can you see me now? Yep. Yep. Cool. It transformed into it, the abyss. It does this thing. It goes whoop and swings all the way around to become the alt mode position. It's just a neat little transformation gimmick. I like that a lot. Whoop. Done. It is. It's it kind clever. of surprised me. It wasn't really what I expected the toy to do. Yeah, it didn't have to be something that involved. It could have just been an oversized Titan's Return one. And it could have been. Wasn't. Me too. Very glad. So it's Henry. Thanks, Henry. Yes. Henry agrees. His opinion matters the most to me. But More than I any mean, of ours. I, I I think too. I mean that he's he's a pretty solid guy. I mean, there's not like a lot of gaps on the figure for the most part. I mean, I guess. Yes. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it doesn't look. It does like the backpack and stuff doesn't look bad to me. No, he's a nice, Personally. chunky, simple toy. And, like, sometimes I look at him, I think he's kind of small. And then I look at our poster boy for Small Deluxe and realize he's not really small. He's just um, stout. Yeah. Wide. Wide. He's honestly I mean, pretty, I, pretty I, decently sized for a Deluxe. I, I just feel like in both modes, too... Like, the Alicons were a little bit of a disappointment to me just because I feel like it's, like, the arms, like, just hanging off of them and whatnot. But, I mean, this really, you know, kind of hides everything pretty well. Yes, and I think that's something that the Titans one really didn't do well in bot mode at all. I mean, if you look at it at the back, it's completely empty. The bits are hanging off. Yeah, just no. No, thank you. This looks a lot better. So, James I'm, in the I'm chat asks how many. Ooh, My answer for me is one. I have six at present. So I have three, but I had six of the Titans Return, and then I had the Pit of Judgment one, and so it's like I had a, a bunch of Shark Accounts already. So I kind of feel like those are the ones that can all go in the back, and then I and I've got three for. For the front, but I don't know. I mean, I may pick up more like as I seen them, kind of like what Rick would do with, with his, um, you know, builders or whatnot. But yeah, if I was gonna get a sale, bunch. I'll grab a couple more. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If I was gonna get a bunch, it would probably be this one. It's smaller. 
I would more prefer to make a swarm out of something this small than something this big. And I'm, I'm out of room. Like, I, I will say this many times in the coming months. I don't have room for more stuff right now. I'm trying to figure out what to get rid of to make room. So trying to tree build it something this big it sounds very stressful. Yep. See, this it's is not bad Anna, though. Anna, this is why you need to go back to Legends. Like, you're totally fine if you if everything is that bumblebee size from New Age, you'll be fine. It's so good. It's so little. Uh, I want to talk about that on the show. No, Anna, neither of us have it. Ugh. Yeah, I don't know. Which one of you was speaking just then? I couldn't tell. <laughs> I know. It sounded just like you. So yeah, we go, all go like it, sharks. right? Go buy a ton of sharks. We'll go buy one shark. However many sharks you want, that's the right number. What's the case assortment for this? <laughs> Do you no idea. What this Order fun. Ordered mine online, never received it. You well, that's what for me. Like, uh, the sweeps and whatnot, and Scourge, like, Scourge is hard to find because people are troop building them. And so then, it, like, you can't find them now. Um, luckily, the, the sweeps should be coming out, you know, anytime. Or I think uh, I GameStop will have them. Yeah. Look at me with my sweeps. Um, I don't know if a case breakdown for this is. I think it's with a bunch of repacks. Probably. Like, I think it's another Blur, Jazz, and Cup. So so this one was pretty much going to be gone, and then all the rest is just going to be hanging out there. Yeah. Or is it with... Is it with B-127? And Dino? Is that who it's with? Something. It's a weird wave. Hmm. And there's this one releasing concurrently at the same time as the Jazz, Blur, Cup, and Revenge of the Fallen Sideswipe wave. Like, they're interchangeable in ordering systems right now for some reason. I don't know why you put, wouldn't put Sideswipe and sh the Sharkticons together because they're both new, but I don't make the rules at Hasbro. I don't. Yeah, I, I've i only seen, I think, one Gnaw in the wild, which is the one that Anna has because I had gotten my three from BBTS, but... All of mine came from Amazon. Yeah. I have one in order somewhere. I need to go cancel it. Well, you can always, I guess, uh, send it my way, I suppose. Do you need a fourth? I don't know. We'll, <laughs> we'll see. I mean, you can always, again, use more Sharkticons. You can never have too many, right? It's true. If someone offered me a Sharkticon, I would just say yes. As they, like, I say I'm only going to get this one, right? But, like, I have two of this because of the Pit of Judgment, and I have no desire to get rid of either because, to me, they're not null. They're just Sharticons. I can have as many as I need. If someone was to say to me, hey, Anna, I super don't want my little baby ones, I would be like, pour them into my house. I will take them all. And I would not stop taking them. But that's so essentially that's the what thing you about did before, these guys. Because those little baby ones are from Christian, right? Yeah, I only have three, though. Didn't you get it from some set? I can't remember what set that was from. Yeah, it's from the set that came with the uh, Black Rodimus, right? Yeah. That's, but I didn't get that Black Rodimus. I would have mine from Paul and then sold oh. them to you. Yep, yep. Yeah, I do have a Shark to Come family. Thank you, Randall. I have one one grown upest, two less grown up, and then three babies. Aw. I know. It's cute, right? So I should get more babies. I kind of think I should get at least one more so one can be actual gnaw and hang out with Wheelie, but that's a Dreamwave thing, not a movie thing, so I don't know. Oh, I guess there was the Cyberverse ones. I never got those. Oh, yeah. Those look exactly yeah. like the Titans Return ones for some reason. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's really similar. I totally forgot about those. None of us had one to show. No, sorry. Gosh, what a failure. Uh, we failed the audience tonight. And I mentioned only getting one of those because it's too big. But you know what I decided to do over this weekend? I decided to get all these damn things. 
So I read six of these now. You're mold completing? Awesome. Did you, did you see completing. the picture Welcome I sent um, where you can actually combine those, the cannon <laughs> the into a super cannon? A six it's shot ridiculous. super cannon? Nope, I'll have to look at that so I can do it because I have was, all of them so far. It was I see so far because I think there'll be more. I think they're just going to keep using this mold until it classic Probably. seekers out of existence. Ooh, sure. I could hang them on my wall. There you you could. It would be like another bug wall for the one. Yeah. Only one, though. Because the rest aren't bugs. Get it? Jokes. Well, I, I guess this it. one's a bug because it's a bug bite. And then Gold Bug's yeah. a bug because he's a gold bug. Yeah. But they're not beetles. Flat I'm delivery. Not Conundrum indeed. This is not a no, conundrum we, though. Just yeah, go, by, go by sharks. I'm thinking I'm gonna go buy some more sharks. I mean, how many sharks is too many sharks? We don't know. Never. Yeah, there's never too many sharks. So I am curious though what Rick's answer is to how, how many sharks. Maybe we'll ask him sometime. I One know um, other people have been, you know, troop building sharks as well. So some of those sight and return. It is an expensive true builder. I don't know if that's for everyone, but I got six. I've now opened three. We're going to see what happens with my display space. One slight bummer is that you could not easily put this in your pit of judgment. It would be too big. It would be big. Mm. You could robot mode it and put it up on one of the ledges, but... I mean, yeah. if it in the pit of judgment, these are actually the best ones to go in it. The one that came with it works okay if you don't have too many, like... One. Yep. Because that's a weird thing a... about the Pit of Judgment because the the person being shoved in is a different skull, right? He yeah. pretty much would skull with these guys. Poor He's too little. He's too little. He doesn't scale yeah, with scales the all over the place. The that set. It's still cool. Still love it's it. a fun set. Don't get me but wrong. It is odd. What can you do? Catherine says you need to troop build dive bomb. Which dive bomb? All of them. All of them? Troop building all of them. I did briefly have several copies of the Energon dive bomb. That was fun. They were, you know, armies in the show and the comic. She's true building Fun. that one. It's a good mold. It's a pretty good mold. I need a game of mine. Wants to sell me the blue one, the Cosmo type. Let me, let me know. I don't have that one. That one for 17 years. Yeah, I guess there's not a, real, uh, a lot to say on this other than go get it, um, right? Yeah, like, seriously, I guess go, it's all go buy sharks. Go buy from sharks. All of us. Go buy so many, all of them. Yeah. And the one oh, thing I would say much. to kind of close up is that I feel like the the little one is almost just as good of a shark decon, like in shark mode, as the new one. But the robot mode is a lot better on this new one because, like, I mean, just you know, look at the old guy. You know, he was he was okay as a robot, but I don't know if anyone's going to call that good for the old guy. The new one is good, accurate, not aesthetically pleasing. So it's an improvement. I agree. Ta-da. The end. Have a nice day. There you go. All right, well... I guess, I guess that's it then. Uh, not a lot to say. So um, thanks. It's a uh, simple figure. Yeah, yeah. Thanks everyone in the uh, chat tonight. Thanks to Randall, Catherine, Phil, James, and uh, Josh. Did you get that? Wow. Big crew tonight. So yeah. Thanks, yeah. Yeah. Thanks everyone. Uh, and then we'll be showing off our TFCon halls uh, next week on TFLP. So it'll be Ouch My TFCon. 
Um, I'm coming. Expect some weird stuff. Oh, uh, there you go. That's right. That's right. Yeah, I, I know like... I didn't tell you I was coming. This is how I'm doing it, Lucas. Okay. On tape. Okay, sure. sure. <laughs> On um, recording. Yeah, because I think you and I, we haven't really shown off our hauls um, on Facebook. So. I took a picture, oh, but then you? I never posted it. Oh. I always do that. I always take the haul picture, then I get shy. I'm like, oh, I don't want to get judged for what I bought. I'm so scared. Oh. I don't know. but uh, so I haven't shared yeah. it yet. I just was being lazy, so. <laughs> anyway. No, I made but... the big picture. I made the big fleshy picture. There you go. Well, we'll show it off on the show. So. We will. All right. Well, thank you, everyone, and we will see you next week. Have a lovely night. <laughs>